It's my joy to help teach and train people on how to share their personal testimony, how to use different tools to get into the gospel, to help the, the shyest person be bolder in telling the good news or the boldest person to be stronger in telling the good news. We're on the streets of Haiti this week and we have found out that these tools all work. It really doesn't matter what culture you're in, people love to hear the good news of Jesus because God has gone ahead of us preparing their heart. He said, if it's my will, none should perish, but all should have eternal life. So that's what we're about, and that's what I know you're about. And you're going to get better at it because you can use these tools. Let me share just a few of the tools. The first one is the red dot. We've got a little card that says, do the dot. It's got a little red dot on it. It gives you four reasons of why you should wear the little red dot on your watch. I have one on my watch today. I have one on watches. I have one on my cell phone. I've got one on my driver's license. So that is a tool that I'd love to share with you more intently of how to share the gospel by just remembering the little red dot. Second thing is the life death card, or any gospel track really, but we love the life death cards. I never go anywhere without having life death cards with me. I always have them in my pocket, I always have a few in my Bible. I've got some on the dash of my car, but we're using these. We've got these in multiple languages. This is an English one that I have here. It's called the life death card because you'll see one way you look at it. It says the wages of sin is death. You flip the card over, it says life, the gift of God's eternal life. On the back, it has the Roman road, just a simple gospel Roman road presentation. So that's something you can leave wherever you are at any time, at the grocery store, at the restaurant, at the filling station, home to home, door to door visitation, wherever you are, you can leave tracks in your tracks. Now there's a third thing we love to teach people, and that's how to use the Evangel Cube. I love the Evangel Cube. It's one of the most productive and innovative uh, type of tools that's ever been designed. There are no words on the cube. It is all pictures, so you can't mess it up, okay? There's no memory work. You tell your story by telling his story, and it's a cube that opens up in different frames to show a person what Jesus did for them 2,000 years ago. It talks about his life, his death, burial, resurrection, and moves into the commitment of a person trusting Christ as their Savior. A wonderful tool. Love to teach and tra train your people on how to use this. Or pastor, you can do this. Or church leader, you can do this on your own as well. Another easy tool to learn how to use is, let's say you don't have a track with you to use. You don't have your Mark New Testament to use, and that's another a wonderful way of teaching people how to share their faith, is marking their New Testament. But what if you don't have your New Testament? What if you don't have an evangel key? What am I going to do? Some people kind of have a, a, a fear, anxiety attack. You've always got your hand. And you can let your hand be a reminder. By going through the fingers on your hand and the palm, it becomes an outline of how to share the greatest news in all the world with somebody. And then, of course, your personal testimony. We all have a personal testimony. That is, if you know Jesus as your Savior, you've had it happen to you. So learn how to share your testimony. Learn how to apply a red dot or share a gospel track or take an e-cube or take your hand to lead people to Jesus. It's all a part of the multiple entry points into sharing your faith. So get involved, teach folks, teach one another, learn yourself how to be more effective in telling the good news. And God bless you as you go fulfill the Great Commission.